morning everyone it is Tuesday Tuesday today after Easter weekend uh, I'm back in Dan is off for another day he's away on holiday have some time away with his missus so you got me so welcome back uh, 7.47 just on my way to the shop we have had quite a bit of rain overnight we had a few sunny days over the weekend but back to sunshine spring downpour <laughs> sunshine spring downpour we've got more coming in tomorrow it's going to be a bit of a wet one as well and then i think toward the end of the week it gets really wet um so i have the caddy that we did the other day for the shark fin that aerial is not working um i was a bit dubious at the week uh, at the day we fitted it um i just thought it might be a you know a signal area thing um but the guy said he's been driving it around for a few days and it's not picking up much so today i've asked him to bring it back in um, and we're going to refit something else um, to get him the signal that he needs which is a bit rubbish how you do a jobs twice for free so we'll have to send them aerials back because there's clearly a problem with them and then I'm going to carry on with the chaser so we have finished obviously the morel board for now uh, that's up and running sounds wicked um, I've got to decide on a head unit for it. We've been testing it with Ben's Sony just to see what it sounds like and it is pretty special um, But I want to get obviously a stereo for it So that's coming up and We might do some demos obviously it's difficult to show you quality of music because the cameras don't pick it up and or copyright rules But we'll try we'll try and do something um, And then yes, it spurred me on to get back on with a chaser so I've come up with a new plan for the back. I've changed my mind again. I know you're freaking out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Easy fix. Puzzle code in my head. Now it's on the walls. Everything is good. Uh, there is a different style of how we are encapsulating the crossovers. So we can make them mm, appear more like, a, more like a panel. Less like a sticky outy. I've changed my mind. I don't like that. I want it, I want it tucked away. So I want it resembling kind of like an OE panel of carpet but with a little special something inside and this just gives me the chance to be able to hide the lighting and I, I prefer the way it looks because it kind of lights up the carbon better. So that's happening uh, today as soon as I've done the caddy I shall jump back on with my car and get that finished or at least closer. Uh, and then we are running out of time. I need to get on and start the Lotus. I need to start cleaning and prepping because now we've got two shows coming up. I need to polish one of the last rims and put the rims back together. And I need to start cleaning and building the engine. We should have everything we need. But I know what's going to happen. Work will take over and we'll lose the time to get everything finished. So that must be priority at the minute. But other than that, guys, I'm going to get off to work, get coffee, and I will speak to you in a bit when we get to the shop on the nice new cam. Not this GoPro. See you in a bit. Morning everyone, how we did Lynn? Right, it's Alex, we are back. Uh, solo me today, Dan is on holes for a couple more days, um, but we've got our first one in, which is this caddy. Now, we had this in the other week, as you may remember, Dan was doing it, um, and it had poor reception on the standard aerial because he'd had an accident and knocked off that mirror. Um, the aerials are in this one. So we put a shark fin on it. Apparently, unfortunately, the shark fin has taken a dump and is no longer working. So we've now got to swap it out for a new one. So I will come back to you in a bit. See you soon. One pair of pants later. Right everyone, me again. 
So here we have replacement shark fin. Um, we've got the old one off, which is all the cable through and through the vehicle. And we've got the old shark fin there. I would say old, this is not, it's brand new, but it's not getting reception. Um, so let me show you a little something, because this might be of use. <coughs> Just jump in here a second. Oh, turn it down. Right, so if you have a VW like this, that one there. Let me just pull this thing out. Watch me go through the garage door and rip the new one off. <laughs> so, let's pop this outside. There is a little secret menu on these VW uh, screens, right? So, we go into neutral. Let me just show you this. So we've got our radio there. Get rid of the part pilot. Here's our music. Now what you do, see the setup key here? Press and hold it. Keep holding it. Secret menu. Here you can perform software updates and you can also check your radio stations. So if we go onto radio monitors, we can go onto DAB and then it gives you signal quality, power, what it's listening to, that kind of thing. And it tells you what you're kind of reading. So it's kind of like a diagnostic menu, if you will. But as you can see, this one is now flat out full. On the other one, it was at zero. Um, and then you just press a return key and it'll go back to, back to normal. So that's this one done. Caddy is finished. Just waiting for him to come and get it now. See you in a bit. We are expecting the mother of all storms in a minute. The sky. Stop shaking, Alex. I'm sorry. I've got, I've got juggler's hands. <laughs> the sky has gone a very, very ominous grey but we have got the beast of a storm coming up today. Um, but look at this. Here is our, our test board. Currently with the RSX9 in there, just playing some tunes just to see what it sounds like. Uh, honestly, it's wicked. It is so cool. So we've got an option of decent speakers, lower down speakers, entry level sub, good level sub. Um, and it is, yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. Cable's all tucked in on a little amp board and everything comes out the back. And at the minute we're just running that head unit until I decide what I'm gonna put in there. But I've been playing, as you can see. Um, we have changed the design somewhat. So rather than having these things sticking out the front as they were before, I now have them inboard and they are sunken in. We have illumination in here. That's what that is there this little cable just here. Um, and it has a light that goes around and illuminates the carbon. So we've kind of got, I haven't trimmed the edges of this yet. I've obviously got to fold all this back, but we've kind of got the OE appeal, appeal of a just a carpeted boot panel, but interior carbon fiber, some crossovers, and there'll be lighting going around all of these. So that's what my uh, next play thing is, is messing around with this. We're going to get the chaser finished and then as I said this morning, we need to delve into this fast. <laughs> I've got a Lotus kit car up there on the shelves and we need to get it done and the wheels and the block is just there. Fun times, see you in a bit. Right then my dudes. Oh, just been listening to a bit of music on the old stand. Fucking love this thing, it's so cool. Right then, Ooh. Jesus, that was close when we went over. So I'm making up a little loom, as you can see. And this is what we're gonna have inside the back of the chaser. Um, I kinda need, give me one second. Let's just darken it out. It's quite light in here today. This is what we're working with. Let me uh, sort this out. There we go. Doesn't that look better? So sunken in, obviously the LED around the inside. I can control these, lots of different types, variants and whatnot, but you get the reflection on the carbon. And the crossover's coming in lovely. So that's what we're doing with it. It's gonna be that type with the cables up through the middle. But we're gonna have four of these. So one each side for the crossovers. We're gonna have one for the sub and then one for the amp. So this, what my intention is, uh, I've bought, here we go, I've bought a connector box of Molex plugs. 
and I'm basically making like a plug and play solution. So the way that this system works is it tracks from one end to the next, but I will join every one that I've cut and soldered with this Molex system so that they'll all be intertwined. So what it will do is the light will pass around the boot from section to section, but it will look like a continuous like line of electric all the way through all the little parts that we're going to have in there. So it will look cool when it's done. But this is what we are aiming at now. It's something like this. And then I'll trim all these edges back, do the boot floor, do the amp rack the same. But it will look sick. I just need to get some more bits. Um, we need some M5 thread taps and some different little Allen key heads. I need about 5 mil on them. So we need to get some fixing. So I might go and do that now. But awesome, awesome, awesome. We can do flat things like glow, different colors. We can do music. We can do speed, brightness, different settings, different modes. It's like a glowy one, red. We can do like fading in and out. Yeah, it's all sorts. <laughs> but it'd be good. Right, see you in a bit, everyone. Afternoon, everyone. How we diddling? Right, let me grab hold of the camera. Let me show you where we're at. So, uh, I've been playing with my new selection box of Molex plugs uh, and making a loom so that I can transfer the, obviously, the light in sequence down through and then into other connections. So we've got multi-core cable, we've got the other half of the what would be the ring and then if I connect let me do this fucking one-handed, can I? Oh come on right, balls to that then, two-handed there we go so with my Molex connected obviously the lighting comes in and then carries on so as long as we keep this same style plug connection that I'm making then we will keep the lighting the same colour through and through and it will chase around the boot in the same fashion but it will look like it's a continuous rope which is nice um, but that's it for today I've ordered some stuff, I've been out and collected some washers from a local supplier to me and some little nuts no, some little bolts, allen key heads um, I've had to order some of these because nobody locally has got some nut inserts I need M5 and I need them small so I've had to order some packs of those from the ladies of Amazonia. But as you can see, it's going to be sick. Uh, I was set on having the carbon out before, but if I'm completely honest, this is where it's at. I'd much prefer this look with a trim panel. I think it's going to look cool as. But that's it from me. Um, caddy's done. Obviously, we saved the caddy job. Replaced the. Uh, turn some powers off uh, replace the aerial on the caddy so the shark fin that we use just something something not quite right with it uh, I've been on the phone to the guys at Celsius who sold me the aerial and it's that one um, everything uh, everything looks gravy can't see anything wrong with it but clearly not a happy aerial something in there not quite right it's got the ghost power it's got the FM it's got the uh, digital aerial but just didn't work but the other one did as soon as I plugged it in boom straight away connection so that's happy days but that's it guys um, Tuesday done no snap on today Jody I think is having some tyres done on his van I've managed to break some more bits um, uh, so we'll be getting some more tools swapped um, but I'm going to shut up stop waffling get my ass home and I'll see you bright and early in the morning me again tomorrow, I think we've got an MX-5 in. And then Dan is back with us on Thursday. See you soon, everyone. Bye.